some snacks. This thing is like 14 or 15 floors. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start at the very bottom of this massive thing. So I'm gonna go through the front entrance. There's no doors. There's no... There's only one entrance. It has no door. I'm gonna ignore all of this right here. Oh, my gnome! Every single time I load the game, he's not next to the chair anymore. He's on the floor. I'm just gonna leave him there. He's supposed to be next to the chair, but whatever. <sighs> so I'm gonna start at the very, very bottom at my place. <laughs> it's beautiful. So, oh yeah, I gotta go through. Just ignore everything. I'm gonna walk through it slowly and just blab the whole time. Isn't that fun? So here we are at the ground floor and you can even see some ground. But I do call it a floor because I've managed to get this floor piece in here and this other one that you can barely see. So this is my bed and I got my little nightstand here, a fan, a painting, fancy. So that's floor one. All right, and now I'm gonna walk through the rest of this kind of slowly so you can see it better. Going on to floor two. I'm gonna go ahead and close this door. Actually, no, let's go in that door and I'm gonna go ahead and close that door. So this, I should probably go upstairs first and enter it from the front. All right. This is the police station slash, oops, slash jail. There we go, now I can walk slowly. I clicked the wrong button. So over to your right is the jail. Fancy. And the door only opens from this side. Right now, there's no one here. There's really no one at all here, just some robots. Because <laughs> my graphics card can barely handle the build as it is, so I imagine with settlers in there, it would be much worse. And I already had to reduce the quality to be able to show this. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> my graphics card is... GeForce RTX, I think it's the 3060. So, I don't know if you guys have ever played this game. Normally when you build these settlements in here, they want you to put in some sort of defenses. All I have is these two desks, they count as defense, and that's it. There's no turrets, nothing like that. The settlement does get attacked occasionally, but look at, we're fully stocked with weapons and ammo. There's a lot more than this. A lot more. And no one's ever been able to figure out how to get in. Occasionally one of the robots will kind of pop up on one of the floors. But that that's about it. And whenever it does get attacked, the robots that, that tend to the garden, because this is actually Grey Garden, I've just renamed it the home of the lollipop gnome, because it's, it's Christmas themed. <laughs> so right across from the jail, the police station, is the school. That makes sense, right? Because when I was younger, I thought this was like jail. So this is a school. And what you're gonna see a lot of is bathrooms. Here's one, double vanity. There's no, there's no, this particular one has no doors between the stalls. They just didn't fit over through this door are the teacher's quarters. 
This is a very rare item, the lap scale. There's only one in the whole game, but you're gonna see another one in my build because I cheated a little bit. I'll explain later. The teacher's quarters are very antique. They don't like much of that modern flair. Everything's very old and vintage, vintage vibe, except for maybe those lamps in the ceiling. That doesn't really go with the flow of the room, but that's okay. And here is the bedroom. The carpet's alive. <laughs> My favorite part is, wow, that is creepy. Yikes. This is my favorite part of this room. I just like this little nook here. And, you know, there's no sheets, but you get a bathrobe, so, you know, that's fine. And there's really no room for a bathroom in this apartment, so there's the tub. And over here, it, it just exits out to the storage room for the police station and then down there. That's my place. My little one room place. No, that's the only one that doesn't have a bathroom. It's all right, I just tinkle outside. I just lean over the little balcony thing, the stairs, and I just duty right there. Anyways. Moving right along, actually I'm just going to zip through this. So this is floor two. Let's head on to floor number three. The gym. So the gym is over here. Got a lot of various exercise equipment and dumbbells. There's even a, a basketball hoop for small children. It's very short. But there is one, there's a medicine ball, some lockers, and over here is a bathroom with a shower. Yeah. Oh, there's some soap. I'm gonna leave the soap right there. But yeah, it's not really a shower head, it, I just kind of felt like it looked like one, so I put it there. And toilet sink, how exciting, let's leave. Okay. Over on the other side, across from the gym is the clinic. The clinic took a long time to stock. Each one of those little items has to be put there one by one. And they, I kept bumping into this thing and stuff kept falling out and But it's done now. This is a little waiting area. There's like four magazines, but they're on the other side. Helpful. And here is the back. Well, it's the same thing. Normally I do fill in this area here, but I didn't. Fully stocked. Over here to the right, I'm gonna get very technical with medical terms, is the eye doctor. Yep, this is where you get your eyeballs checked. And over in this little corner, through this door, it's just a storage room for documents and uniforms. And down this hallway is where the doctor sees you. It's like a exam examination room. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of creepy, but doctor's offices freak me out, so that just made sense to me. And over here, it's a little bit happier of an area, although you're probably not that happy if you're spending the night at the hospital. There's a couple beds. This one has a teddy bear. And another bathroom, because you gotta have a bathroom. And look at this toothbrush. I'm pretty sure I picked that off some ghoul. They're like zombies. So after I killed it, 
I dug that lovely toothbrush out of its pocket and now it's here. It's a shame they don't have newer looking bathtubs in the inventory that you can choose from. They have new toilets and new sinks, but no showers and no new bathtubs. Like, no showers at all. You just have to get creative and, and then call it a shower. So that's that. There's one more room in here. The surgery room. So you definitely don't want to be in this room. But everything is kept really sterile. See? Nice clean mask. Clean sheets. And a phone. That doesn't work. Moving, moving right along. So, which floor was this? Maybe at the end I should just go ahead and and count them because I'm gonna lose count as I'm blabbing through all of this. Okay, one, is that the school in there? So, one, two, three, is this the fourth floor? I think it's the fourth floor. Let's count it. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so there's one below here. One, two, three. That was the fourth floor. Oh, well, there's one more thing here on the fourth floor that's super exciting. It's more bathrooms. It's bathroom overload here. You can never have enough bathrooms, I always say. When I was younger, I grew up in a house with just one toilet. No. Unacceptable. So we have many, I should count how many toilets are, I don't actually know. There's a lot of toilets. So what are we at? Fifth floor? Oh wait, no, this floor we gotta enter from, from the front for that epic effect. So that's the front entry. It's not the door, there's no door. And here we go. This is my masterpiece. I couldn't just have a carousel, I had to have a double carousel. It's made out of fountains and ice cream. Ice cream scoops, giant ones. Giddy up buttercups. Remember in the beginning uh, when I had that intro, that epic intro, and I said thousands of uh, giddy up buttercups lost their lives to surpass the build limit? Well, how I surpass the build limit is I type in a code, so I click a button, I get this screen, and then I type in player dot add item space. And I already have the code on here for the Giddy Up Buttercups. And I, for example, put in, I'm just gonna put in like five. And now when I go to my inventory, there's five Giddy Up Buttercups. So what I'm gonna do is drop some. So this is the actual size of these things. The ones on the car, car little, the carousel. <laughs> Are a little bit bigger because the other thing you can do in here when you do these they're called command prompts is you can set the scale of something so you just type in set scale two or up, I think it's like up to ten I don't think you can go any bigger than that that's huge like this this mat that's down on the floor I think that's a ten I don't remember <laughs> But anyways, to surpass the build limit, which I surpassed very quickly, pretty much just on the frame of the structure, about halfway through it, so something like that. So after I surpass it, what I do is I go into my, my build inventory, and let's say I want to do this mannequin here. Well, I can't because I've already surpassed the build limit, so it won't, it won't let me do it. But, if I go ahead and scrap this Giddy Up Buttercup, I'm gonna get all of these materials. And I got my mannequin. <laughs> so 
everything you see here except for a lot of the junk that I coded in. I just found the item ID and added it to my inventory and then dropped it and put it into place. <laughs> but anything that's in the build inventory, the workbench inventory, I did it like this. I dropped some giddy up buttercups and turned it into the item that I wanted. I'm gonna go ahead and scrap this armor rack. That looks like a mannequin and oh, let's just store this giddy up buttercup for now and then exit out of here. So one by one, giddy up buttercups lost their lives to this belt. <laughs> this took a long time. And if you look closely, yeah, the poles are not going through the horses, the ponies. I tried. I tried. I used this rug glitch to get well, a lot of the stuff to where I wanted it to go. And I really tried with this carousel and no go. This, this ride here was also a pain in my tuckets. It was not easy, and if you look closely, you can see little rugs still there. I mean, that one's pretty visible. A lot of them are not that visible, like this one. It's right there. If I remove the rug, the whole car drops down. So I left the rugs where they were. And if you don't look too closely, you can't see them. But yeah, I used a glitch to get those where I wanted them to go. I had to build the little stairs and then remove the stairs and leave the rug. <laughs> also got some bumper cars. These are not functional rides, but it looks cool. So I have some bumper cars. And these are functional. These are from a DLC, the Nuka Cola World, and you can actually play these. See, they give you some balls. And there is a way to toss them, but you know what? You can just walk up here and just throw it where it needs to go just take the ball and just kind of insert it because the higher your score the more tickets you get there's also whack-a-mole or whack a commie and this and it is fully functional like they're gonna pop up this is in the inventory. If you have the DLC, so you pop up and you smack them. You can shoot them with a gun. I tried punching them. That didn't really work that well. But yeah, that's that. Oops. Oh no. Oh my giddy up buttercups fell. This keeps happening. <laughs> I'll save the game. I'll load it back up. My gnome's on the floor. Giddy up buttercups on the floor. At least it's just one. Sometimes they completely disappear. Whatever. This is a functional game that I also cheat on. And tickets. You can get your tokens over here. See? Oh, shoot. I keep pushing the wrong button. Because one of them I can move faster, and the other one just brings me into my inventory. Token dispenser. So, this lit sign here. There's so much wiring in back. Like you gotta wire all of these little things together and then hook it up to a terminal and on here I think you can select the color of that or you just click on the tiles and you can select the color as well and I think for like multiple colors you need multiple terminals it can it can become really complex so I just did one little light strip over here once you've collected all your tickets there's prizes Bunch of toys, little robot models, some gnomes. You can even score some armor. But imagine how many tickets you need for that. No clue, no one's ever claimed anything because no one lives here. And no one comes here either. I, I mean, robots kind of live here because they were already here. They've been here for a couple hundred years, tending to a garden. But like, where was I going with this? Let's just, let's just move on because I kind of lost my train of thought. Wait, no, there is one person. There is one, per I don't know how she got here. 
she pops up on random floors once in a while. So I have not completed the game. It's close. I don't think I'm gonna. I got I got distracted. But I have collected a lot of the bobbleheads that are around. They're in buildings, around the commonwealth. They're, they're all over the place. So I got all those. I had to get them. I had to so I could complete that. But anyways. Where was I? It's getting kind of dark. Maybe we should look at this during the day. I'm gonna go on to the next floor. I already lost count. What is this, the fifth floor? I don't know. Oh wait, no, before we go on to the next floor, there's also this game. You shoot these water guns at these targets and it gives you tickets. There's a little snack counter, snack store, candy, desserts. And over here is the kitchen. This stuff was already here, so I built around it. The only the only way to get rid of this stuff and like the grass that's in the bathroom is with mods. No mods were used in this build, not a single one. I did use command prompts, but no mods. Oh look, it's even stocked back here. I forgot about that. So if you have a computer, it won't work on console. I mean, you can surpass the build limit on consoles. I just wouldn't go too far because the game will freeze. Or you'll start falling through the floor or you may not even be able to get near the area that's just oversaturated with stuff. Of course I've been there. <laughs> but if you have a computer with a decent graphics card, you'll be able to surpass the build limit and then also do command prompts so you can get items into your inventory and resize stuff as well. So we just passed a bunch of pool tables, slot machines, those are sort of functional? Somewhat. You don't actually, I don't think you win anything. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've actually played the game. As you can see. So now we're approaching the general store. Over here is the electronics section. Yup, this is lamps. This shelf, I think this was the very last thing I made, built, stocked. It's the very last thing I stocked. It's just, it's just random crap. But my favorite one is, this is the one I started with, toys. And how you place stuff on here. Like first you drop it out of your inventory, then you pick it up. And then one by one, you set it down. It's easier, like it'll do it kind of automatically if it's on the bottom or the top. But these middle ones, you gotta do it manually. You just gotta shove it up there manually. This case contains every single holotape audio log that I've collected in the game. All of them are right here. <laughs> Hats, I, I thought were cool at one point, now I'm thinking not so much. And this right here is the Gilded Grasshopper. There's a mission where you grab this thing and you don't get to keep it, but you can command prompt it into your inventory and then resize it to make it this size, or smaller or bigger, but this size fit into this case. <laughs> this is the Pip-Boy case. I'm sure I found more than that, but that's all I put into there. This is a unique item. It's a flight da data recorder and another lab scale. Super rare item. I think this is like the rarest item. I don't know. There's only one. But there's two here, because I cheated. More crap at the general store, just random things. Ah, oh, there's stuff back here too. Pens and pencils. It took a while to put all that on there. But not as long as it took to put stuff on this shelving. A lot of crap. 
and this one took a fair amount um, the <laughs> A fair amount of time as well. Continuing on. Here is the bookstore slash magazine store. This is every single, except for the four that were in the hospital or clinic. This is every single magazine that I've collected while roaming around out there in the Commonwealth. And it's a big place. Here is every single letter, note, everything that I found. It's all here. All of them. <laughs> What's weird is they have bookshelves in the inventory, but there's really not much for books out there. This is all I found. I mean, there was probably more of these. These are really the only actual books that I found. Overdue books. You can turn them in for like various items. And a lot of you that have played this game will remember this one. Yep, you're special. It's a little baby book. These are recipes from Nuka-Cola World. And some, some other stuff. Yeah, not much for books out there. I don't know why they gave me bookshelves. All right, let's keep going. So this is how you enter the double carousel on the second floor. It's super safe. You just gotta kinda, yeah. It's really safe. <laughs> it's okay, it's not really functional. Not many things in here are. And no one's gonna live here. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna put settlers in here. Oh wait, there's one more thing. Oh, oh. There's one more thing I wanted to show you guys on this floor. Oh no, it's not on this floor. But I like to enter it from these stairs. This is where you create robots. It's a robot workbench. And it's a mess. <laughs> There's a little office and a little bedroom. Just one bed. Not that exciting. The most exciting thing here is this epic view. That's pretty cool. There's a, there's a bedroom and a living room. And of course, a bathroom. But I can't get in here. I guess, I think it's this giant tree I put through here. I mean, it's huge. And I think that's what's blocking my way in. Well, whatever, there's a toilet on the other side that you can't see, it's not very exciting. Okay, let's leave here. rushing through this park because there's really nothing there. One of my favorite shops. Yep, the weapons store. And these little mini nukes. Not easy to get upright like that. So how I did it is, and there's more here, these were even harder to place. I just kind of put them over the edge and just kept dropping them. Just drop in the mini nukes. Yeah, just boop. Until they landed the correct way, upright. And then I put them up on the counter in this cabinet. Yeah, just toss the mini nukes around. This is the wall of weird weapons. The rest are just rifles and giant guns and Oh, I took one. It was probably the best one, so I took it. And this is mostly swords. And over here we got handguns. Oh, these baskets. That took a little while to, fi to fill. To film. <laughs> this is taking a while to film. And ammo. Okay, 
There's really not much to see on this side anymore. So let's just stare at this side. Okay. Take it in one last time. Actually, no, I think you can, you can somewhat see it from the next floor. Up over here is the armor store. And most of this I did find out there, but some of it I did kind of code in. Like I had it at one point and I don't remember where I put it. Because I have a bunch of other settlements and I don't, I don't know where it all is. So I just coded it in, which is easier at that point. The amount of time I've spent on this, I get to. What is that one? Is that from The Mechanist? Probably. Now, this armor, I did not count this in. This is all stuff I found. And then over here is where armor gets repaired. All right, let's head on over to the next floor. Oh, so there's this room here, game, little place to eat, meats treats. <laughs> Should have called it meats and treats, but it's, it's meats treats. So you can get your meats and your treats and then eat them over there. Looks like someone's already been chewing away at some stuff. Mutt chops. That's dog. <laughs> hey, you know, there's not much food out there, so you can you just eat whatever you can. So this next part, someone, I, I was having a creative block and I didn't know what to put in this area. So I asked, I made the mistake of asking for advice. And this person was like, you should put it in a grocery store. Do you know how long it took to make this grocery store? Really didn't take that long to like set it up and put the shelving up and all that stuff. But then it came time to stock it. I stocked it. There's fish over here. Got some lovely melons, carrots, corn, mutt fruit. Over here is the refrigerated section where there's some really questionable looking items, but they're pretty. And then you got cat meat and squirrel bites. It looks just like chicken. Yeah. Now please take a moment to really appreciate this section right here because, well, <laughs> for a couple reasons obviously, but the main reason is, do you know how hard it is to place bottles on the middle shelves? And do you know how many times I bumped into the shelf trying to place stuff on this shelf? Thinking back, I want to cry. <laughs> it was a very stressful event, placing bottles on shelves. <sighs> Giant eggs. Look how new everything looks in this world that's completely destroyed. All the new stuff is out front. That makes the store look good. And then you have your checkout counters right here. And of course the employees get stools. It's inhumane not to let a cashier sit down. And I feel like they're more productive when they sit, so. I know I'm right. But let's go over to Meats Treats and see it from the inside. There's plates and funnel cakes and sodas that are 
couple hundred years old probably. And here's where the meats cook. If you're wondering where the ventilation is for this, it's right there, see? Just vents into, into that room. And over here, there's two toilets facing each other. Because, why not? <laughs> it's a good place to sit down and conversate. Yeah. So over here we're entering the very first residential unit. I guess not really, because you saw mine at the bottom of the building. And then you saw the teacher's quarters. But now we're getting into the modern ones. Where it's just a little bit more livable and homey. Got a giant island. You can mix your own Nuka Colas here. And yeah, that's the kitchen. This family here has been enjoying some really nice looking vegetables. That just looks so yummy. Vegetable soup. Mm. There's napkins. And this room is one of my favorites. I love this room. And you're gonna see why. You're gonna see why all these chairs are facing the same way and why they're on two different levels. Oh, I just skipped over it. Ta-da! It's a home movie theater. But there's only one thing by, uh, there's only one thing on. It's the please stand by screen. You get nothing else. It's time for a nap. Cause it's starting to get dark out there. Why is it getting dark? There must be a storm coming. I don't know. I feel like it's dark. Maybe it's just dark in here. I'll just keep going. It's only 2.30. So that's one of the bedrooms. Not a lot of privacy. As you can see, it's got glass walls. And over here, there's no door to the bathroom. This one's a little bit more modern. And over here is what I call a shower. That's the best I could do. And a TV. A lot of TVs that show one thing all the time. And this is a loft apartment. It's up here. There's another bedroom, sort of. And the only crib in the entire building. There it is. And the baby also eats vegetable soup. <laughs> yeah, there's... Weapons pretty much in every apartment, I believe. They're either on walls or on racks, maybe on shelves. In the in the teacher's one, there was a cane, which is considered a weapon in this game. There was a cane on the on the on the wall, which I forgot to show, but I'm not I'm not gonna go back down there and show it. It's not that exciting. <laughs> Yeah, let's ignore that. That's the TV from the bathroom sticking out and I, I couldn't figure out how to hide it, so it, it's just there now. Here is the next apartment. There's really nothing over here, just a bunch of Christmas trees. There's Christmas trees in every window, which is not a window. This one has a modest kitchen. It's kind of small compared to the others. Ooh, I did not do a good job putting those counters in evenly. Let's ignore that and just look at it from a distance. That is terrible wallpaper. I'm not too impressed with this. I think this is my, this was the very first one I worked on. Oh yeah, this door. I have to walk this way. There's a tree in the way, just preventing me from going in from that direction. Yeah, it's just the bathroom, nothing exciting. Old tub, yay. Oh, I just closed the door on myself. 
This was the very first bedroom I worked on, so it's probably the lamest one. Yeah. Okay. So let's skedaddle and move on to something a little more interesting than that condo. Over here, now this place looks better at night. It's this little nightclub, I guess. Up here, there's some tables. And if you look closely, there's crap on all of them. Down here, you can get yourself some drinks. Oh no! My beer bottle fell. <laughs> I've restacked these so many times. And three have fallen now. Last time I looked, it was one. Now there's three. I'm not doing it over. They can just stay like that. Whatever. Whatever. I'm over it. That's going to bother me. But if, if I try to mess with it now, it's just going to... I'm going to make it worse. Because trying to get those upright on those shelves... Not easy. Oh. Gross. It's already gross. Just put it in the ashtray. There we go. That's pretty much it for this nightclub. Now, stare at that for a little bit because I'm going to show you underneath it in, a, in just a sec. But first, we're going to head out the secret exit. And you can see we're on the first floor of the double highway and I don't think this connects to the ground so there's no way anyone can enter in from this side all right let's head back upstairs now behind these steps before I go upstairs behind these stairs there's a door and this door opens <laughs> and then you go down this really creepy looking hallway to a bathroom with an ugly old tub. It's just nasty. But look at this. That is my proudest moment, bathroom moment in this whole game, I think. The double sinks. Love it. And I actually matched up. This is like two cabinets, but it looks like one. It's seamless. All right, that's enough bathroom. Now, let's go into the bachelor pad. Modern kitchen. Huge island. Open floor concept, which I think is actually going out of style, but whatever. Pool table. In the bed. Don't stare too long at the bed. Okay. Moving right along to the bottom floor. This is a two floor apartment. Underneath that little club, bar, whatever we were just at is the bus. <laughs> this bus was in my way. But there's no way to remove it unless you use mods. Yeah, and this giant tree kind of goes through a few things, but whatever, it's not in the way. You can still sleep on the bed. But yeah, without mods, the bus stays, so I just kind of built around the bus. Yeah. <laughs> and over here, next to the bus, is another little... This looks a lot better at night. It's another little nightclub. dance floor, bar, it is a party place, and over here, another bathroom. Alright. So now we're exiting the bachelor pad and heading up to the next level. Over here are two more apartments, I'm going to go into the smaller one. This is another loft style. 
There's the kitchen. I'm not impressed with the lighting or the color scheme in here, but it is what it is. You know, everyone's got their own taste. These people chose this. And I'm not really feeling it, but you know, to each their own. Here is the upstairs. Oh, I lied, look at that. There's another hollow tape. It's not with the others. And this bathroom, I gotta be really careful because if I get too close to this chessboard floor, I'll bump it out of place. I can't actually go on it. It is a chessboard that has been increased in size by probably the maximum allowed. Another double, what do you call it, double vanity? And a toilet. Can't have enough toilets. So that's that place. Over on this side, this is the very last residential home. And looks like these guys were having a lovely meal of cat food. Cat food? <laughs> cat meat. Close enough. Cat meat and tar berry. It looks like chicken. It's fine. You know, if all there is is cat meat, you eat the cat meat. Alright, now we're gonna go down this sort of creepy little hallway and make a left. This is one of the darkest bathrooms. It's kind of narrow too. You can, you can see some of the highway over here. Uh oh. Let's put that rope right there. Oh, the soap fell too. I'll put the soap right there. Okay. And there's a toilet and a shower. Okay. It's not that exciting. <laughs> And before I go up those stairs, there's actually, oops, three more bedrooms? <laughs> there's three more bedrooms. Actually, what am I saying more? We haven't even seen the bedrooms in this unit yet, have we? No. So this is the first bedroom in this condo, apartment, whatever you call it. Oh yeah. And all their guns are right here. The next two bedrooms are across from each other. Gotta have some games. Got a little scientist here, look at that. A giant giddy up buttercup. That's not the actual size. Double bed. And some knickknacks, some knickknacks, and garbage. All right, on to the next one. This next one, I was actually just gonna seal off this wall and not even do anything here, but then I did. I put in another bathroom. Stocked it full of crap. But the reason I didn't really want to go through with this is because you can see the highway and when I was creating this build, I really wanted to try to hide the highway as much as possible and make it look like it wasn't built over a double highway. <laughs> but here it is, you can still see the, the paint on the street. And uh, yeah, the ceiling's a little bit low. I don't even know if I can, I can't even walk past this light. I can't walk my track lighting unless I crouch. Nope, still can't. Alright, let's just leave this room. I'm gonna leave this and head upstairs. But before we take a look over here, let's take a look over here. Pool table. Another pool table. But this, this is the second one inside of an apartment? Yep. Some crap over here. And this is the last floor in this unit. At night, 
this area. I mean, it looks kind of crappy right now because there's just a couple sleeping bags on the floor. At night, it looks a little more romantic with the candles and the trees and stuff. So yeah, it's just a little relaxing area, or I guess you could use it as another bedroom. And before I go through that door, I kind of wanted to close out, whatever. I'm going to go back down and enter that whole area from another location. Here. So all of this stuff that you see here is from a DLC, Far Harbor. I collected quite a few things from Far Harbor, including this armor. I think that's a wetsuit, but to me it really looks like something else, like a gimp suit. But it's a wetsuit. And there's another one of my beauties. Oh, this thing was not easy to build. If you take a look underneath it, I kind of showed a little bit of it in the intro of this video. But here, let me move this so we can kind of see under. It's a hot mess down there. There's rugs and floors and just stuff sticking out all over the place. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that back. Yeah, every, oop, no, 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 no. Every piece placed one by one. One by one. Over here is a clothing store. Cause why go out into the wild and try to find your own clothes when you can just pop in here? Pop in here. We got vests and dresses, slacks, clean suits. Oh, so, somewhat clean. Laundered, they're laundered. A couple hundred years old, but they're laundered. And this is our best seller. The summer shorts. Yeah, our best seller. And it's not just shorts. It comes with the top, the shorts, and when you throw it all on, you get some shoes too. You can't see the shoes right here, but they'll be on when you put this on. That's the cleanest thing we got right here. Summer shorts. Yeah. And, you know, if you want to be real fashionable, you can head on over here and get some glasses. Get sunglasses, regular glasses, or a hat, maybe two. Stack them. Yeah. A lot of hat options as well. And a couple dressing rooms. Got dressing room A and B. And over here, really the only sort of jewelry looking pieces that I could find. Well, I guess those are shawls. But that's a necklace. I think that's the only necklace in the game that I'm aware of. There could be others. I don't know. And here's some, oh, this fell. The feathered dress fell. And there's some other stuff here. Another really, really rare, bleh, <laughs> I can't speak. Another really rare item in this game is the leopard print bandana. Of course I coded those in. A lot of this stuff is coded in because I'm not, do you know how much time it would take to go out there and find all this shit? Mm -mm. Oh yeah, over here, all the food is free, but take a good look at the food. Got fruits, vegetables, and if you're lucky, there's a giant egg, a Meyerlark egg. Now, you'll notice there's a fine selection of unhealthy sodas as well, but if you want one of those, it's 25. Mm-hmm. Yeah, drinks aren't free. 25 caps, not dollars. Because uh, that's the currency here. It's, it's bottle caps. Over here is the costume section it's more for specialized clothing as well this is for the higher spenders and another rare item in the game bathrobes which of course i i coded in here <laughs> this yep 
my command prompted, and that I think I, this stuff I found. So through here, oh look, this is that room I was telling you about that looks better at night. I think it looks better at night. This this is the three bedroom or three bedroom, three floor condo, and the people that live there own the clothing slash costume store. So I'm not gonna head out that way. I'm actually gonna go. I'll head out a little bit this way. There's some free drinks here, a little drink station and a bench. But I'm gonna head back downstairs. Before I head back upstairs. Over here is a salon. So you can get your hair did. And you can relax here. Get your hair cut there. Spin around on this, even though it doesn't really spin. Spin around on there. And when you get sick, you can go over here to poop pee. Poop pee. Yep. So over here is poo. And on the other side is pee. Fairly fancy bathrooms for like a public restroom, right? Fancy for this world. Not fancy, not so fancy in real life. Fancy in this world. It's starting to get dark. That's okay. We're gonna continue on. I wanted to enter from this way because if I entered from the other way, you'd see just a bunch of random furniture. I got late. This is the part where I got super lazy. Like I didn't know what else to put here. So I made a furniture store. And just used the furniture I was in the inventory and just kind of threw it all in here. And there's all the beds. And then over here is, is the costume section of the furniture store. Not very excited. It was lazy. That was really lazy of me, but I just, I just needed to put something there. Okay, we're finally getting to the very last floor. Okay, the last floor. Here we go. It's another nightclub. <laughs> There's a bar right there. And disco balls. And just little areas here where you can chill and sip on your drinks. You don't have to have alcoholic beverages. You can get some non alcoholic beverages right here for free. And play some games. Some wakakami. Chill there. Or some atomic rollers. And yeah, these, like I said, these do spit out tickets. You know what? Where's my bowls? What? I got a jip. You're supposed to give me bowls. This is not working. Oh no. I'll come back to it later. Maybe it'll still spit out a couple tickets, but normally they give me bowls. They didn't give me any bowls. I'm really disappointed. Wow. Alright, so that was really the final floor. This is a rooftop balcony, an extension of the bar, so when you're sick of all that noise, even though you can still hear it, because there's really no windows, it's just this. You can hang out here and look at a ruined city and a polluted river. So that's really lovely. And then when you head up here, that's the nuclear reactor that powers this entire building. And this entire building, I had to wire it after I got done with the build, once all the furniture was in and the walls were up and everything. Not the junk, I think I put in the junk after I wired it. I don't remember. But, Getting electricity to that many floors from the top down, well, I mean, even bottom down. I did top down this time. Not easy. Not easy at all. It took like three days. <laughs> but so this thin little wire runs from this to that. And then it's all connected. So if like halfway through I disconnect one wire, half the building will not have power. 
yep, it's all connected through this one wire and then it feeds it all around. And there's some points where you can see the wiring. Some of it is done wirelessly where I could. Some of it is hardwired. I really struggled with that. And over here is a switch. And when I turn on, turn off the switch, yeah, turn it off. It turns off power to the entire building. The only things that are lit are the things that don't use any electricity. So anything run on oil, or candles, but see, no electricity when I go down here where the ride was. Oh, let me down. Look how dark it is now. So, yeah, one little switch and it turns off power to the whole place. And luckily it's accessible to all these people that will be drinking here, so that was a really smart choice. But you know, no one's living here, and no one's probably gonna live here. I should have put settlers in here, but when I do that, they mess up all my little knickknacks and plates and food that I have set up, because I'll sit there and like, toss stuff on the floor, and I just couldn't have that. So no one's here yet. Maybe eventually I'll invite some people over here, but I doubt it. I think I'm gonna be pretty much done with this game. <laughs> I think I've spent enough time in this game. But no worries, because they're making a new one. It's, it's almost done, I think. It's called Starfield. And in that one, I'll get to build a spaceship. I wonder how much crap I can put in there. I'm gonna fill it with so much junk if they let me. And it's, it's gonna start off pretty lame, but over time, let's see where these spaceships go. So now let's check this out in, in the daytime. I'm just gonna kinda, whoops, zip through this. You can see a lot more detail in the daytime and, and that's what it looks like. Okay, so I'm done here. I don't know how many floors that was, 14, 15. One by one, everything was placed. And that's where I've been. I'm so sorry that I haven't posted in eight months. I, I hope this is a good excuse. <laughs> that's probably not. Oh yeah, one more thing. I completely forgot. There's another hidden exit that exits out onto the second floor of this highway. And it's not accessible from the ground either. It just exits out onto this and and, and that's that. <laughs> so that's that oh, over here. You can kind of see the wiring. I don't know why I'm leaning. That's not really helping me. But a, a lot of it is hidden and it's run through all these like quarters that you can't see because they're hidden and blocked off. And some of it is run along the walls, some of it's going on the ceiling, some of it is done wirelessly. And there are dead parts in the building where there's absolutely no electricity, but I, I kind of made it look like there is. I, it just didn't feel like wiring all of it. It's mostly this part right here, the, the very center of this area, there's no electricity. <laughs> I didn't want to make it ugly with all these wires and things. <sighs> there's my residence. They were here, they were here 200 years ago, tending to the garden, and, and they're still here. So that's it. That's the home of the lollipop no. I hope you enjoyed this. I I actually did enjoy building it. There was parts I didn't enjoy, but for the most part, I did have a lot of fun creating this. And it's going to be a very, 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 very long time before I do anything else like it again. Because if I do, I won't be posting for at least eight months. <laughs> But seriously, it's not, I'm not gonna take another eight months to post a video. 
I have, there's another one in the works and a third one, it's not in the works, but it's planned. This plan is coming. It's, it's a haul, but it's not your typical fashion haul. There's not many. There's some on YouTube like it, but it's wedding dresses. There's like 14 of them. I went crazy. <laughs> 14 wedding dresses. <laughs> There's a whole room filled with wedding dresses. <laughs> they were really cheap. All right, so that's it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed.